Look, he made it back. Y'all see the Volvo Turbo out there. Y'all see it, look at that. Parked nicely. I see the Volvo Turbo. I gotta take my Firebird to the shop next week. I'll take it next week to get those. Got the market gauges put on. Be a lot of stuff. I should've took, took it this week, but they were, they were a little busy this week, so I'll take it next week. Next week, you know, it's no rush. Like I said, I'm, I'm a, I like cars, but I'm not a car enthusiast, or you know, I'm not the like, like I like cars, but I I'm not like the pros who like, oh, I'm gonna go spend a boatload of money on a car. Yeah, it'll, yeah, it's gonna be great for my content and everything. It's gonna help my channel grow. But when that time comes and I get everything situated. Then I can be focused on doing more fixing up cars and stuff for the channel, you know, but you gotta get everything situated, everything. You gotta put everything in order, you know, work, put it all in order, it's work the plan. Boy, yeah. might be a lemon. It is a Nissan. Oh, yeah. It is, but you know. Once you get everything in order, you know, put it, put all, you, you know, because we spend a lot of time, people spend a lot of time multitasking, but if I can, uh, if I can focus on just instead of, uh, cause I, that's what I've been looking at. I've been doing, doing too many multitasking, doing, trying to do too many things at once instead of just focusing on one thing. So now I, I'm the semi and everything is getting going like I want, it's been getting going. Everything is starting to go like so. Once I can get that going like I want to, boom! Then I can, then I can go. Then that money's starting to come in, and as I'm streaming, that money's starting to come in, and then I can start to, because I already buy cars. You know, I'm only trying to buy one or two cars a week, so I can keep doing that. But then I can start building cars. So now I have a lot of time. So now I can stream a couple hours. I can make videos of me buying cars doing that i can make videos of me picking up cars and i can still book loads and stuff for we need to get us another i'll probably just glue that up or tack that up or something but yeah well let's go pick up this malibu let's get it how beautiful that sky looks yeah see that look how beautiful this phone makes that sky look that's just... y'all moving up in the world eh? huh nah we we trying to move, get some money from you as soon as you give us some money we'll be moving all the way up <laughs> what it is yeah. Well, I'm still trying to get it too. We waiting on you. You got the gold too, man. We waiting on try to just give me a little loan. Just give you a little loan. Yeah, and we'll come up together. You know, if I owe you, you'll never be broke. I'll never be broke. Yeah, if I owe you, you'll never be broke. <laughs> so we're gonna pick up this Malibu. Man, that Scott do look just beautiful, man. That camera just oh. look at that camera. So we got some rain, rain, go away, come again another day. Excuse me. Yeah, y'all see it though. Empty, 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 empty. But it is out of the I want to see me, personally, like me, I just want to buy some land. Give me like an RV like that or bigger, a little bigger RV and just live on my land in an RV. Man, I don't really need no house. I just want the land. Gives me, give me a nice little piece of land. Give me a little RV, build me a little, build me a little game room, little, little shed, not too big, not too small, you know. But here's the Malibu. My Malibu. Check the fluids on it. Jim Norton. I got coolant. Good look inside and toe, top post battery. That's a good one. See if it, it Yep, and it's got tires. You know, as long as it got tires, it's good. It's good in my books. Alright, right up. Anti-reflective coatings and UV protection. No extra cost. Now, do you 
you need new glasses? Text glasses to 64,000 to pick five Robbie Parker frames to try out. Text glasses to 64,000 to get some oh, GLASS. No, I ain't keeping this one. 64,000. Seven, man. It's got a little squeal like the belt need to be tightened up. Nah, I ain't gonna keep this one. I'm gonna sell it, make me a quick little thousand dollars and call it a day. Make somebody else, somebody else can keep it. They can do the little minors. They can get all they need. Man, you ain't even gotta worry about the hairline. Just take you a good old car. We're gonna tighten up that belt, keep that from, oh yeah. Boy, we ain't gotta go nowhere to know that it's good. You just go like a half of a little block and you half a little area, you know, as long as we got fixed a little squilling tire squilling belt on it. Where the little trunk release at? You already know the radio work. Check and make sure the heat working AC, but we ain't nobody worried where it wiped the little interior down. There you go, my man. Make sure my windows work. Okay. Windows work. Just to gotta put this, hang this switch back up. Good to go. We got this little belt squill. But that thing is pretty clean though. It's already clean. Just a little wipe down a little gunk in the little arm center console and stuff. It's got an ABS light on, but that's just that's all at General Motors cars. No other lights on besides the ABS light fire right up. You know, like I said, don't see right now the squilling belt. And we got a little squiller, a little squiller. But I'll probably just change that. Twenty dollars, twenty dollar belt. Just go ahead and change it. It might just need to be tightened up, but it probably just need to be changed. So I'll just go ahead and change that. Let's see. Okay. Yep. Shit, they're hitting all the gear like it's supposed to. Belts are squealing out, so we're gonna, we're gonna change that. We're gonna change that belt. Change the belt. Fresh belt on there. Fresh oil change. A little, what is it, like 50, a little 50 dollars. A little hundred dollar. A little hundred dollar fix up. Wipe it down. Damn, is somebody gonna get. We're gonna keep driving it though. We gotta make sure. Only, like, with these Malibus, like. Sometimes they be overheating and stuff like that, you know, so as long as it ain't overheating, you know, the oil look like it's already been changed, so, but, you know. But I, I just changed it, I can set, change that myself. I could change oil in the belt myself, that ain't nothing. Or I just have my dad do it, you know. Whenever he just, whenever he just be wanting to make a little extra money, when he be not doing nothing, just want a little extra money to go to the casino or something, I give him a little light job to do, give him, you know, pay him like 50 bucks to change his belt and no oil, I, and no oil. Other than that, but it rides smooth though. I'm gonna put some new hubcaps on there though. We gotta have matching hubcaps. Gotta have the matching hubcaps. Gas to radio working. See if the AC clicking on. See if the AC clicking on. Just you know, just to, you know, just always. Okay, AC kicking on. AC kicking on. Oh yeah, we got AC. But it's about to be the winter, so get too many people worried about AC. Yep, got AC for three hundred dollars. A steal. A steal. A steal. same amount of money so it's like but y'all see it though wipe that down 
wipe this down, wipe that down. Um, get a little, get some carpet mats that I might throw in here. My little Walmart kit special, you know, wipe that down. Go to the salvage yard, get one of those. That's like a couple little dollars. I replaced that one too. So that's about $5 because these are like a couple, like two or three dollars a piece or something, maybe a little bit more. So I replaced both of those. That's nothing. That's pretty, pretty easy to replace. Um, ABS, I can't do nothing about that. Radio, could go get the little knobs, maybe. What are you doing, brother? You can't go that way. You gotta. Let me get some knobs. Y'all hear that bell squealing? tank of gas with a normal operating temp. So look, I ain't listen, all I gotta do is do all I gotta do is a little minor stuff and then look when I sell it somebody gonna cop in there like man it's already got gas in there like come on now I just spend my money on the car and it's already got gas in there come on now that's a win-win win-win and they're gonna get new belts on here too so they ain't gotta worry about it tire is gonna be good hub caps what more is they gonna want? What more are they gonna need? And you're gonna spend thirteen hundred dollars. Thirteen to fifteen hundred dollars, somebody. Cause I always post my cars up there. I'm gonna post it up there for like sixteen hundred. Somebody's gonna say they got eleven. Somebody say they're gonna say they got twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. It's gonna be people with that with those offers and I'm gonna, whoever gets their first is gonna get them a car. You know. Yeah, I can hold I don't like I can hold out and maybe wait like oh let me just hold out until I get that fifteen hundred. But hey, if I can help somebody, hey, and sell it for 13, 12, I would do that. You know, somebody's gonna get them a good little running car. Yeah. And I always tell people like this. I always like buy these cars and sell them cheap like that and flip them, flip them like. That's why I always try to buy cars like cheaper and sell them for like fit. Like my range is really like no, I don't really try to sell cars like over like twenty five hundred dollars because I always tell people like this. You know. Draw the car, you know. Fix fix some stuff on it as you see as you as you driving as, as you going and you driving and then you see. Fix it as you go. Like so, say if I sell this car for thirteen hundred, right? And a person drive it, you know they just drive it until it hits you know another twenty thousand. So say they get a year out of this car, right? They buy it for thirteen hundred. They get a year out of, it. and then after that year, if they don't want it no more, either trade it in and you know, or you sell it, or you know. Sell it, get the same thirteen hundred dollars you back. You know, you you always find somebody that won't needs a car for thirteen hundred. As long as you kept up with most of the stuff that is needed, you know. As long as they could, like the person like you know, a fifteen hundred dollar car, you'll always be able to get or a running car, you'll always be able to get, you know, about fifteen hundred, you know, fifteen thousand to fifteen hundred all day. And the price of the cars is up, so you'll always be able to get about fifteen hundred for a running car. So as long as you Whoever, like whoever buys this car, like, that's why I always tell people when I when I'm selling them a car. You, you you buy the car, you keep the maintenance up on it, drive it. You know, after a year, if you don't want it no more, you know, after a year, you put twenty thousand, fifteen, twenty thousand miles on it. If you don't want it no more, just sell it for the amount I bought, sold it to you for. It, you know, and get your money back, and you know, maybe they gave you, maybe this car gave you some time to stack up your money to buy something else. You know, so that's what I always like. You know, use this car as a starter car. Like always, all you always want to start. If you don't have a car, always get you a starter car. You know, a car that you could just drive around. That you know, I didn't spend too much money on. You know that I, you know. But if it's giving you a lot of problems, then sell it. But if it's a cheap car that's not giving you any problems or not gonna, that seems like it's gonna get, just drive it around and just stack your money up, and then you can buy whatever you want. You know, that's why I always try to give advice. You know, every time I sell a car to somebody, I always try to give them some some little advice either. Either get them some advice or me pass some advice on to them. But obviously this car is running good. But I'll let y'all know the final thing when I get to the lot. So we'll see how when we get there. <laughs> my car down, man. Need to lay my car down. I don't know. Huh? It's got a carburetor, <laughs> oh, it's got a carburetor on it. <laughs> Oh, he didn't destroy my. That motherfucker died. Y'all see it? Yeah. Give me some hug. Look, he didn't destroy my car, man. 
Like I said, it's weird though. Like you said, you drive it, it drives just fine. Yeah, he didn't have time to catch up, bro. He's talking a little bit. He's giving time. He got COVID symptoms. <laughs> Malibu run good though. But if y'all haven't already, you know, like this video, subscribe to the channel. I'm out. We're gonna get it from right there. That's the that's that picture angle right there. It's gonna be like, boom. You ain't gonna even know. You ain't gonna even worry about all the other part that's faded. But you're gonna see the good. You're gonna see the two good sides on it. You look at that. You get two good side photos like that. Man, it don't even, it don't even look that bad no more. Oh, look at that. They traded it into a Toyota dealership. They made a smart choice. Out of a Malibu to a Toyota. See, you got that one good side, though. That's what you're going to... Like, man, you know, just put a little paint job on there. You know, you got to get it. That's how we're going to get the thumbnail. Thumbnail going to be right there. If you see that thumbnail, y'all can see the angle. But if y'all haven't already, once again, you know, I like... If y'all haven't already, you know, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Like I said, I'm going to post that car, 16, 1700. They probably put some new hubcaps on there, fix, fix the belt, you know, top off all the fluids. Didn't they, they didn't look like they needed to be topped off, but post up there for 1600. Bam. Somebody going to give me 13, 14, 1500. So I'm going to make 1000. I'm going to make 1100. I'm going to make 1200 or 1300. One of the two. So that's how easy it is. You know, y'all don't have to make it too difficult. I don't. I try to make it as simple as possible. And people be like, oh, you can, but like, you can always buy them. Yeah, I can always buy more newer cars or whatever, whatever, you know, I can always do that, you know. But hey, if you make, if you can make a thousand dollars without, without doing a lot of work, you will, you will do that too, you know. Why, you know, if I can make a thousand, two thousand quickly and give myself time, you know, yeah, I can buy a car for two thousand and sell it for four thousand, make the same two thousand, but it's going to take a little longer. When I can make this, I can, I can, boom, buy that 300, do the little minor stuff to it, sell it for 1300, make a thousand, bam, I got the rest of the day, rest of the week, I ain't got to worry about like, damn man, this car ain't selling, why is it not selling, take it down, repost it, none of that, I know like once I post it up, somebody like, boom, I got this, I just got paid, or about to get paid, I need a car, bam, it's easy, but I, once again, I teach y'all, I teach y'all, I'm out. You know, but I mean, I don't win on every car, so I really, it's really hard. It's really hard to teach anybody about buying cars because you never know. You never really know. But if y'all watch it all the way through, let me know where y'all from, you know. Comment down below. We need a lot of comments and a lot of likes on this video, so comment down below where you're from. Rep your city. I'm in Oklahoma City. I'm rep Oklahoma City. So let me know where you're from in the comment section below. I'm out. Peace.